to one side. Stupid camera. We're gonna press it one side and unplug this one. Just pull it out. Then go ahead. Go ahead. Open this. And this one right here is gonna be a 30. This one right here is gonna be a 30 millimeter. 30 millimeter. I was gonna come out. Sorry for the camera flipping. So this is what I use. This is a Milwaukee. It's a quarter inch. So what I've done this one, put them in here, put them in there, boom, and out. That's a 13 millimeter is how I told you. So now the nut is out, Let's pull the cable, boom, voila, save the nut, don't lose it. This cable is out, the one, the other one I told you, for this one right here, I'll do the pinch from the, from the beginning, which is the top, the tip right here, this one, pinch it, I'll pull it out. Now, those uh, 12 millimeters and the starter is gonna come out. Now, some places it's tight. If you're not able to fit a ratchet, this is what I use, watch. I'm actually uh, doing a giveaway of this bad boys gear wrench. It goes all the way from eight to 19, but check it out. Straight 12. See, one side is ratchet, the other side is there, and it's long, and they fit everywhere. I will be doing a giveaway pretty soon on my Instagram. Make sure you follow and subscribe here and there. 13B underscore Dorito, 13B as a boy underscore Dorito, that's my Instagram. It's going to be a giveaway of this gear wrench, uh, free of shipping and everything, inside of the U.S., and then another giveaway I'm gonna be doing is a $100 gift card, Visa gift card. So yeah, anyways, if nothing fits, you'll be able to fit this one. Let me show you. All right, check it out. See the right side in there? I'm going with the white angle. Boom. Fits in there, in here, and you have a lot of space. So you can get them loose. Just like that. Once you break them loose, you can use a ratchet watch. This set of ratchets are so convenient. I even have a link. I don't think I have a link on the description for so you guys can buy on Amazon. But uh, just click any of the links. I so yeah, like I was saying, it was so convenient. Just fit in there. And boom, look. Just put them in here and get them loose. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, but if you want to buy it, if you don't want to, if you do not want to wait for the giveaway, you can go ahead and purchase it on Amazon. I don't have the link yet, but um, click on any link I have, and then from there you search for gearbox uh, set of wrenches, like double sided, and uh, that'll be good. So yeah, I'm gonna remove this bolt, and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the one on top, all the way down there where my finger is. And this one down here, we have to remove the lines a little bit. Boom. And it should be have we're gonna have space to remove the starter. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, for the last one, maybe the tricky one, it's gonna be on top. I'm using a ratchet and the ones you fold, and then with the medium uh, socket. And you can fit your hand through here, through the you know where the motor mount is between the wheel and stuff. You'll see the bolt in there, does the ratchet. And you should be able to remove that one. Just like that. Boom. So you can even take this off once it's loose. Remove the ratchet. On this one, I do have the uh, the link in the description for Amazon. Those ratchets, uh, it's a set. Again, that's a gear wrench. Really good quality. I'm not sponsored by any tool manufacturer, whatever. I purchase all my tools. Uh, but anyways. Those are really good. It comes with the little one, one, one quarter, uh, three eighths, two three eighths, this longer one, little one, and one uh, half inch. So now those bolts are off. The starter is loose. Boom, see? Now we're gonna have to find your way out, and the starter is coming out. Let me, let me try to get it out, and then I'll explain right now how I'm gonna get it out. Okay, so once, okay, so once the starter is loose, what are you gonna wanna do? It's gonna slide it up. And it's gonna come right out right there. Boom. Let me move everything. 
I'm gonna let it fall because I need two hands. Boom. So voila. There's your starter. Sorry for a stupid camera, it's flipping. Well, I don't know how to lock it. Anyways, that starter removal to uh, install it is gonna be the same way you, you, you remove that. The tail, the tail goes in first, bolts, wires, battery from the switch, bolt those down and boom. Torque specs, don't worry about the torque specs, go all the way down and give it half a turn. Or if you wanna go torque, maybe like 22 to 30 foot pounds, 22 to 28 foot pounds, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, that's the removal. Uh, keep up with the uh, with the engine removal. Thanks for watching. What's going on YouTube? Update. You guys seen on the previous video, a bunch of wires are disconnected here and there. Drain the coolant. Well, what was not coolant? Only that. Drain the engine oil. Harness is disconnected. Is right here. Starter is out. Next step. It's not a next step, but whatever crap is on your way. Transmission cooler lines. If uh, this is gonna be for automatic, apply for the same shift for a stick shift. Same thing. The only thing you don't have a thing. Automatic disconnect those two. Those two. Everybody knows those are the big lines for the cooler, engine cooler, which is gonna be down here, right there connects down there now this one here this one those two for oil power booster vacuum hose radiator top hose the AC system you're gonna make sure there's nothing in there it's gonna you you, you can leave the pump is remove the the brackets the hose the nipples the couplers Make sure your system is empty. If it's not, you're gonna have to clear it. Don't just press it and let it go on the on the air. If you have the machine, try to get it done. Or you have a portable one, or before anything, boom. If um, if you're in Mexico, like um, you know, I'm in Mexico right now. I told the car there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna open it. Oh, it even has a leak. I heard it. And you press it until it gets empty. Again, no, I am not in California right now. I'm in Mexico. So, yeah, I'm going to clear it. Clear it just by pressing and letting the air out. So, just remember, I'm in Mexico right now. On a little town. There's nobody around. It's just me on the car. Nobody else. Yeah, like a little rancho and shit. So, yeah, I'm not in California. So, I'm going to press it. Get all the air out. Disconnect the hoses, water, oil, and uh, I'll see you in the next one right now. I'll be right back. Oh, I, I, I think I can hear a cow over there because I'm in Mexico. Mm -hmm. You hear? Told you. What's going on YouTube? So we continue on the RX-8. Four port automatic engine removal. So most of the top is already gone as you guys can see. Radiator hoses into the inlets on the side engine is already out So next what we're gonna do Oh the fuel lines. They're also disconnected those two right there. It's a clip remove and pull it out For the oil cooler Those two big ones right there once goes to the well the boat goes to the engine But one is gonna be underneath so it's gonna be hard so it's gonna be better disconnected from here or the cooler itself I want to the block Remove to the block, you're good to go. Transmission lines, those two, they have to be removed as well. And then we go down. Let's check it out. A little lift the car more, but uh, yeah. Uh, this one right here is gonna be easy to remove. So remove that one from there. That one right there. And the other one, uh, whatever is easier for you, either for any of those two connections, left or right or all the way to the cooler itself right here so whatever is easier for you and then the transmission lines those hard lines 